Here we go. Yeah, my, my son called right in the middle of the, the live stream. They couldn't remember the gate code for my mom's subdivision. <clears throat> so I guess they made it. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's those allergies. Woof. I'm just going to hang out till everybody gets back. You can look at the other side. Look at that porch. Ah, you see that building? See that building right there? Hi, Kusk. Back again. That is Susanna Dickinson's house. She was one of the uh, survivors of the Alamo. So I'm sitting next to an Alamo survivor's house. Edward Mejia, good to see you. Edward Mejia, good to see you. Mejia, Mejia. Doing well, Edward. Hope you are too. One-handed keyboard's back. One-handed keyboard's just Robin Barker and yeah, good. Good, good, good. Pietro, 001. This is 2.0 because I got a phone call. My son called me. <laughs> People are still looking at me funny. I've got the phone kind of hidden behind this column that it's on. You should see the prop up thing, this deal I've got. I'm just like leaning it against something. She would musk up before the good work. <laughs> yeah, like Brian Fantana. Brian Fantana. So as I'm looking out, I can see the Texas Selfie Museum. <coughs> Excuse me. And Club 420 ATX, which is, we don't have dispensaries here in Texas, but they look like they're trying to make a fake one for South by Southwest. South by <coughs> Southwest is crazy. Oh my God, we got another Australian $7.99 <coughs> to add to Mike Vance's $49.99. <coughs> Gosh, dang it, excuse me. So Timely Behavior over there in Australia says, what razor do you recommend if money isn't an issue? Here's some money for some feather blades. If it isn't an issue, well, I, I will always go for the Rockwell 6S. It is so dang solid, and it has all those plates if you want it to be adjustable, you know? Unbelievably solid razor. Fantastic. And it's like 100 bucks, so a lot of people would balk at that, like, God, $100, but it'll last you the rest of your life, I guarantee you, unless you lose it. How do I feel about current Star Wars? Well, I like The Mandalorian. I, I haven't been, like too into these these first couple of episodes that I've seen but uh, I've got my OG Star Wars I always will let's see I, no I haven't been going to the gym would I say moving to the US is a good idea it is the land of opportunity for all of its faults for all the faults that we have we are certainly not perfect we're not a perfect country perfect society no one is but there are so many opportunities if you can wade through the BS you know <laughs> but it's like anything you know so, all right, let's see. By the way, you're in the Balkans, from the, from the Balkans. Oh, Walter's in the Balkans, goodness. Am I under the weather? No, I, it's allergies. <clears throat> allergies and I probably breathed in like a, a hunk of pollen or something. What's my luxury shave setup? Ah, I'm not really into luxury, you know. I wear a tuxedo when I shave. OG Star Wars, FTW. I know what that means. Thanks for the advice. Just after a great shave, of collect watches. Ah, oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I guess certain like vintage and really nice watches, I bet, could just be absolutely off the charts expensive. And I love watching that guy's uh, uh, watch repair uh, YouTube video <coughs> channel, where he like takes it apart and knows exactly how to do everything. Fascinating. Even the tools he uses are kind of cool. Like that little soft, rubbery thing he sits the watch on. Love that thing. Let's see. No allergies to worry about in Yorkshire, England. Very cold and wet. Richard Ayrton in Yorkshire. Yorkshire. Let's see. Oh, it's midnight there, isn't it? Is it midnight? Or we, we just did a spring forward. Daylight saving time. So, Gamers Daily Fix. Vancouver, Canada. Wishing me the best and I wish you the best. Thank you, brother. Phil Collins says America is the best country. We're doing our best. I mean, there's a lot of mess-ups in this. There's a lot of screw-ups. There's a lot of losers, a lot of dumb people, a lot of really great people. I think the majority across the world, there's way more good people than bad people. I truly believe that. It's just you hear only from the ne'er-do-wells, right? Somebody's, somebody's revving up. Gosh. Okay, let's see. When are you coming to Fort Lauderdale? I don't know, Edward. I've never been to Fort Lauderdale. I've only been to Miami because we went to Key West. Con, yo, what's up? Let's see, Mandalorian's okay. Best thing to come out of Disney era, in my opinion. I agree. Um, oh, it's a big old motorcycle. You want to see? 
see that guy? That's making all that noise. Hey, turn that thing down, Sonny. Showing off. He's just showing off. Let him show off, that's all right. We all need to show off from time to time, don't we? All right, let's see, what else we got here, what else? I'm resisting moving to Texas, don't think I'll be able to adapt to the heat. Man, I tell you what, it does get hot and it stays hot for a very long time. Um, but there's lots of cool rivers. There's the ocean, you wanna live down by the ocean, the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, lots of pools, everybody's got a pool, so a lot of good air conditioning too. A lot of good honky tonks with cold beer as well. Oh, you do watch repairs? The channel's probably wristwatch revival. Yeah, probably. Probably. It's 2 a.m. Con where Con is. I haven't tried the Palm Olive Cool. Mm -hmm. It's also gray sometimes. Good people do bad things and vice versa. Exactly. Life is complicated. Life is so complicated. What's up, Mr. Flight Man? Hi. I have a term for motorcyclists like that, but it's not PG. Yeah, I know. We try to keep this channel PG. Believe me, you know what? I, I really, um, when I'm away from this channel, I used to like to cuss a lot. And then I, I was doing it too much. And I decided I don't want to do that anymore. And so I've really tried. I mean, you can't not from time to time if you're frustrated or angry. Hello, Mackenzie Smith over there in Scotland. But yeah, I've tried to cut down on the real life cuss words too. Because, you know, once you start hearing your, your son say it, or if... You know, you used profanity uh, because they had done something wrong, and then they throw it back at you. Or like, you know, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give them that that ammunition. So, I've tried to stop. I'm doing pretty good. As someone who lives in Newfoundland, I would kill for the Texas heat. <laughs> We're freezing eight months of the year. Yeah, yeah. It's really, you know, it's nice today. It's 73 degrees Fahrenheit. It's gonna be 81 tomorrow, and then we're getting a cold front where it's gonna be like in the 50s and 40s, so. But then it'll be back up to 81 next week, so it's just, it's the way it goes. Ever been to Paisley Park? I have not, I've never, but I would love to. I love Prince, fantastic. Still miss him, gosh. Cussing is fun, yes, I know, but use it sparingly. Uh, use it only in appropriate situations. Man, it's still revving that dang engine. I'm gonna go find that guy. I don't wanna tell him that you all said to be quiet. Are you liking the Dallas Mavericks chance? Yeah, I'm not, a, I'm not a basketball fan, so I don't follow any basketball, but uh, good luck. Yeah, there's more people just staring at me. They think I'm just talking to a column here. <laughs> there's like, this woman right here, she was just staring at me. That woman right there was like, what is that guy doing? <laughs> I mean, this is South by Southwest. Everybody, Uncle Rhino, what's up? Everybody here is tech savvy. They should know. I mean, I, I walked past two guys podcasting earlier, so. If you guys want me to, I'll, I'll walk around a little bit and show you the madness that is 6th Street, which is just one block that way, or the convention center, which is half a block that way. How did I pick my YouTube name? I love Frank Sinatra and I love John Lennon. So I don't know, I just put those two together. I'm not sure how. Yeah, I'm more of a baseball fan. Ah, oh, Nova Scotia. Ah, oh, the old trailer park boys. Did you guys watch the, the Netflix special? Because I'm in it. I got to go to that show and I get on stage and I buy a cheeseburger from Julian. And you see me a couple of times eating the cheeseburger. There's like a shot of me sitting back. I was on the front row. I like bought tickets that morning. What's my favorite whiskey? Well, it depends on what you're talking about. Single malt. I like Springbank. I like McAllen. Yeah, this is Austin. We're in Austin. Um, for daily drinking, I go for Famous Grouse for, you know, drinking on the rocks. I also like Cuddy Sark every now and then. A very cheap but it's kind of a, it was LBJ's favorite scotch, you know, Lyndon Johnson. So with my connection to him, I, I developed a taste for Cuddy Sark, very cheap whiskey, blended. Where can I get Italia aftershave from? Uh, well, I would assume just Captain's Choice. Uh, go to their website. I'm not sure if they ship to Australia or not, but uh, it's good stuff. Hello, Sinatra. Hello, I can't pronounce your name. Is that a, the Greek alphabet? It's not Cyrillic. Anyway, <laughs> we're hanging out. Sorry, there's a woman walking by that looks like, uh, uh, what's that actress that plays the bald wizard that's friends with Doctor Strange in the MCU. She's very strange, she looks like an alien. Anyway, there's a woman walking by that looked like that. Oh, Greek, okay, gotcha. Uh, Suntory Toki Sunday. No, I, you know, I've only had one or two um, Japanese whiskeys, so I, I haven't tried them enough to give an opinion. The pitch clock, I don't know yet. I don't know. I don't think I like it, but I don't want, I don't know. 
I, let's, let's see. Let's we'll give a verdict later on. How about that? Tilda Swinton. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, there's one that one that looks just like Tilda. I knew it wasn't her, but I was just like, gosh, she's so tall and thin and like super cropped blonde, bleach white hair. I have been to London, England, Andy G. I've been a few times, and but in fact, we're going back in June. I'll be in London in June as long as, um, as I always say, as long as the good Lord is willing and the creeks don't rise and I can get my shifts covered, I'll be going to England with the family, and then we're going across to the beaches of Normandy to see where the D-Day invasion took place, because I'm a huge World War II buff. So is my son, my older son. I love history in general. And, uh, and then we're going to Paris, and we're going to Mont Saint-Michel. See ya, Coos, good night. Thanks for joining us. And then Munich, and I believe Salzburg. So that's in June for two weeks. What's the worst razor I've tried? The dollar store razor, <laughs> it fell apart. Yeah, 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 you don't want four hour games. I know, exactly, JC. It's, let's, let's, let's wait and see. Yeah, it might've been. Tilda Swin. You know, there are famous people here in town, that's for sure. I saw Ethan Hawke last year, but I've seen him before. I played guitar with him before, back in the 90s. How's it going, Todd Joe? One, two, three. Was just in London trying to go to Windsor Castle. Oh, I went to Windsor Castle. That was beautiful. Beautiful. Oban and Hibiki are good. McAllen for the win. Yeah, it's just so, it's, McAllen is so easy to drink, you know, and they, they blend it, you know, or they, they create that whiskey to be very palatable to w as many people as they can, right? <clears throat> Swinton was Gabrielle and Kai, I have no idea. I bought Gillette Platinums, probably not as good as Feathers, but still good. Yeah, I don't feel the need to use other uh, ra uh, razor blades. Once I've got the feather, it's like, ooh, Pedro Pascal's in Austin right now. <gasps> I hope I can find him. Oh my God, that would be so cool. I love Pedro Pascal. I liked him in Narcos before he was ever in The Mandalorian. Shoei 701, lots of snow up here in North Dakota. Looks nice there, yeah, it is. It's, it's 73 degrees here, so I apologize for the warm, warmth. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the Ram album. What's on Ram? What's on Ram? I can't remember. I have to see the track listing. I'm sure there's a couple on there that I like and some that I'm probably not too familiar with. So I'm just sitting here on O. Henry's front porch. Did I show you O. Henry's house? This is O. Henry's house. So he was an author in the 1800s and I've never read any of his stuff. Very famous O. Henry. William Sidney Porter is his uh, actual name. Best razor to take on carry and luggage is similar to safety razor. You know, I don't know. I, I, I seem to always check my bags whenever I have a safety razor. So uh, I've never tried to take one on. You know, it seems like you could take a safety razor if you like took it into its, its component parts, like if it was a three piece and with no razor blades and you could keep that in your carry on luggage and maybe buy some razor blades when you get to wherever you're going. Yeah, you like these live videos? Yeah, it's kind of fun, hanging out. There's all the people walking by. Tons of people, just an endless stream. And this isn't very many. Like, all the people are one block over that way, and then one half, well, actually, half a block that way and half a block behind me. This is just kind of a, this is Fifth Street, and I, I, I picked this location because it was sort of off the, uh, you know, away from all the crowds. See, Ram and Band on the Run, there you go. Favorite scent from Sterling. Margaritas in the Arctic, of course. You can take a safety razor on the plane as long as there's no blade in it. Good, good, that's good to know. But then you might you know, come across some TSA agent that doesn't know that and takes it from you, and I'm not gonna lose my Rockwell or... Oof. <laughs> Lieutenant Mustache. <laughs> that's the funniest, funniest name. Lieutenant Mustache says, Damn you for convincing me to get the 6S and it's great. Now I'm stereotypical. Plate three with me. There you go. Went to Darwin for a week and didn't want to take a razor. The custom, so I got a big safety. Oh gosh, big safety. Hey, you know what? It'll do in a pinch. And believe me, it does pinch. Good night, Con. Good to see you. LL, good to see you. Howdy. You know what? Barbasol Electric. I actually have a knockoff Barbasol brand. It's a knockoff of the, of the Norelco One Blade. So I'll do a, a, a review of that. It's been sitting forever in my, uh, in my, oops, sorry. Chucks. 
in my uh, 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 closet since I bought it. God, I'm getting distracted. I'm looking at the people around them. My son sent me a request for Ro Robux. And... What's the best John Lennon solo album? Um, John Lennon Plastic Ono Band, probably. His very first one. Was that the very first one? Or was Imagine the first one? I think John Lennon Plastic Ono Band was the first one. Oh, it pinched. Yeah, I know. I'm sure it did. I'm sure it did. Oh, man. My rear end is starting to hurt. I'm sitting on concrete here. Let's see where I'm sitting. Hold on. That's where I was sitting on that concrete thing. Oh, I'm going to stretch. Should we walk a little bit? Should we walk? <sighs> Let's just walk down the street a little bit. What time is it? 6.15 p.m. 6.15. It's funny how many people are looking at me like, what is that guy doing over there? I mean, don't they know what live streaming looks like? This is South by Southwest, for goodness sake. You know, they turn it around, see what you're seeing here. Whoops. Okay, let's go this way and I'll show you the, uh, so this is Susanna Dickinson's house. She was uh, one of the survivors of the Battle of the Alamo. Nick Cage is in town? Well, I'm probably gonna run into him in a minute. I'm gonna run into Pedro. Pedro Pascal and Nicolas Cage in a second. But right now I'm running into Susanna Dickinson who was at the Battle of the Alamo. There she is. Oh, here I am. Hi, folks. So that's Susanna Dickinson. Handsome woman. This is her house. Native limestone. It actually used to be across the street and they moved it. That guy's talking about Susanna Dickinson. It used to be right there where that Starbucks is. This house was moved from that time. What time is it? 6.15 p.m. Uh, so yeah, Central Standard Time, sorry. <laughs> it's kind of an overcast gray day. This is the Great Big Hilton. This is where everybody that it comes to town. So this is the, the main headquarters, like the, uh, you know, the hive, like the, 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 the beehive of activity is South by Southwest. Five hours behind UK. Okay, yeah, because we just sprung forward this past weekend with daylight saving time or the end of it or the beginning of it. I can never keep it straight. This is a really nice hotel. If you're ever in Austin, stay at the Hilton next to the convention center. I'm doing some construction over here. That's a big old beautiful live oak tree and there's an even bigger, nicer one right there. Edward Mejia, thank you for also saying the last name. You're an amazing person. Well, thank you, brother. Thank you, Edward. Hey, what's up, Adam? Adam Vaughn in the house. Uh-oh. Oh no. What is what is this? We need a Starbucks in this specific spot. <laughs> yeah, I know. Ah, uh, progress marches on, right? There's a sky bridge up there. You can get a go across from the convention center to the Hilton. So let's go into the convention center. You wanna see how crazy it is down here? Let's just go check it out, shall we? Oh boy, what, we got some stuff coming up. What does this say? Side door, sorority house. Oh good, the... Cat Metro. It's, it's kind of calmed down. Got to run across there because that's the bicycle lane. I don't want to get smushed. Let's see what's going on in here in the convention center, shall we? It's a little bit, it's not crowded right now. Because it's going to start going, yeah, it's not crowded at all right now. Yeah, the party is in town. What in tarnation? This is the convention center south by southwest. And it is not crowded at all right now. But it is going to get crowded tomorrow through the weekend because that's when the music part starts. Look at this big old beautiful thing. Oh, there's a million things going on. Just check it out, South by Southwest online and you'll see, hey, should we go up this escalator? This big beautiful escalator? Look at this thing. It goes up a long way. Coming to Texas for that party? You should, it's, it's a heck of a party. Yeah, it's real quiet in here, it's weird. Like earlier, it was packed like tomorrow and the next day, Friday and Saturday, this place will be jammed with thousands of people. Right now we're in like kind of like the in-between time. 
because we, uh, yep, Exploring the World, Romance, Faith. That's author, isn't it? That's right. And uh, what was I saying? Oh, Henry's house right over there. You can see it where I just was. And out here, let's see. There is the doorway. I don't know if I can get back in or not, so I better check it. Always check to make sure you can get back in a door before you go out a door. Let's turn this around here. I'm, re I'm checking and rechecking it. There's the Frost Bank building. Not much to see out here. Let's go back inside. We got the police. All right. Let's go back, go back down. Here, I'll take you down with me. Take me down. Whoa, I hope you're not afraid of heights because it goes up another one too. Whoa, look at all these. I danced as a stormtrooper one time in this little area. Believe it or don't. Believe it or don't. <laughs> yeah, so we just finished up the interactive part of the conference and the film is going on right now, I believe, and then starting sort of tomorrow, it'll be um, the music, which is how it all started. Oh yeah, yeah, they have all kind of conventions here. Go get some, anybody thirsty? You want some White Claw? I don't. But here's where you can buy it tomorrow. Oh, you want a free koozie? Anybody want a White Claw South by Southwest koozie? There's a bunch of White Claw back there. Mm -hmm. No thanks, I don't drink White Claw. I drink whiskey. What was that you say? I'll be in that building in six months. There you go, Spice World. <laughs> there you go. You'll recognize it. You'll recognize that carpet. It's a beautiful convention center. I've walked through it about a million times because I used to work a block away and I would just come over here for whatever was happening. All right, let's go outside. Oh, you know the building? Okay, gotcha. All right, let's go outside here. White claw on the rocks. It's like adding water to water. Let's go to 6th Street, because that is packed and loud and crazy, if you want to see some, since the uh, convention center was relatively quiet right now. It's the calm before the storm. The calm in between the storm, I should say. I'm gonna flip this thing around. We're just walking through town, folks. Walking over to 6th Street. How long have we been doing this for? 23 minutes on this stream. We lost the stream because my son called last time. You guys ever look in hotel rooms and go, hmm, I wonder if there's a naked person up there in the window. <laughs> or is that just me? Once a 12 year old, always a 12 year old. Go to 6th Street, Tosh's the bouncer. Tell him I said hi. That's where we're going to 6th Street right now. There we go. They're both pretty young, Adam. Oh, here's the uh, engine number one. Here's that fire station I was, I had my back to earlier. See that cool architecture? 1930s, kind of 1920s. All right. Let's go see what's happening on 6th Street itself, shall we? That's right, man on the street. Ooh, there's a big old line. Let's go walk past that big old line, see what they're all doing. See who's in town. Maybe they're coming to see Nick Cage. Hopefully oh, flip it around here so you can see. Crossing the street here. So you got everything blocked off and this traffic just goes and goes and goes. I mean, if you try to drive down here, you are insane. So don't try to drive downtown during South by Southwest. Here's the back of the line. See how far up it goes. Yeah, it is. It's a very nice city, and it's a very beautiful part of Central Texas, the Hill Country. 
And a lot of Australians say that this part of Texas reminds them of Australia. So I've never been, so I don't know. But I trust them. Is this Pedro Pascal walking past me? No, he wasn't. I'm trying to stay out of everybody's way. I can. Austin Blues Fest. The Weston, that's a new one. This is a really cool restaurant that I haven't eaten yet, at yet, but I want to. Eddie V's, Edgewater Grill. Townsville in Australia, Townsville. There you go. Towns Van Zantville. There's some very cool people here in town. These two are really cool. Cross the street safely. We don't have the cross yet. I could just run across, but I'm not. Yeah, maybe I will. Okay. Light's still red, and they got all these barricades up, so it's not too bad. You go for a blues fest? <laughs> Bring your keyboard. All these dumb scooters everywhere. Okay, we're coming up on 6th Street here. <laughs> Max's Wine Dive. Slava. Yep, I never went, but I heard that the burgers were fantastic. There's the cool back alley. Who knows what go? Oh, there's a couple of back alleys here that you do not want to walk down. There's one in particular that is like a, 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 a hive of iniquity. You'll never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Okay, well now we're going to get loud. There's a lot of live music down here and a lot of people walking around. It's not shoulder to shoulder yet. That will start ramping up. Hey, you want to go by a blues club? There's, there's a live blues band. Let's go check it out. All right, so here's Sixth Street. It's kind of like Bourbon Street, Austin's version of Bourbon Street. So they put these barricades up so that you have to walk around the sides, you know. But all these old buildings from the 1800s, this street has been the home to a lot of different businesses over the decades, centuries. Oh, get out of the way, the cops are coming. They heard I was filming. Okay, let's go down to that blues club and see if the band is still playing. I'm gonna keep my head on a swivel while I'm down here. So if you're following me, I'm at 6th and San Jacinto. If you're following me on Google Maps, 6th and San Jacinto. Recess bar. Happy chicks, chicken kitchen, chicken kitchen, chicken kitchen. It's fun to say. BBG's, this used to be Bikini's Bar and Grill. The waitresses all dressed in bikinis. Here's Voodoo Donut, if you've ever heard of that. They all those crazy donuts. Here's where the here's where the blues band was. Not blues right now, but that's Friends Bar. Albert Collins is great. <laughs> No, there's no shaving place to go down here. There used to be down on Congress, but not anymore. Hit it home, see you, JC. Everybody go to JC Shaves YouTube channel. Subscribe for more content. <laughs> Almost stepped in a hole there. Too late again. You're not too late. We're still going. We're just walking around 6th Street now. The Hannock Building. Oh, more White Claw. Everybody gotta have some White Claw. Your son would love this, huh? Station of Four Hooded because it's deployed in Poland. Oh my God. How well does Texas do barbecue? Do you really have to ask? We make the only barbecue in the world. All the rest don't count. <laughs> Texas.
Texas barbecue, baby. We're all about the beef. All about the brisket. Food market. So ho. There's a dude over here disrobing and dancing, but I'm not gonna film him because he looks like he's having a mental uh, episode of some sort. What's White Claw? It's alcoholic seltzer. So it's kind of like a beer, but it's seltzer, seltzer based, you know? Yeah, Texas barbecue is even famous in Finland. Finland, 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 the country where I long to be. So this is something new. If you guys are familiar with the podcaster Joe Rogan, and who isn't these days? He lives here in town now. Oh, burritos in the Bay Area? We don't call them burritos here anyway. <laughs> I don't know, I don't eat Mexican food outside of Texas. I made that mistake a couple of times, eating Mexican food in Chicago and in Missouri. And I learned my lesson, so. Yes, I'm gonna show you the comedy club that Joe Rogan opened, it's right here. See the thing that says The Ritz? That's his comedy club, it's called The Comedy Mothership. It's brand new, I guess, it just opened. This is the party street, I'll tell you. So there you go, that's Joe Rogan's new club. The Comedy Mothership. And no, the Alamo. Why do I travel aloof? I like traveling by myself. I can move around a lot quicker. Ooh, there's something happening over here. They got some people, uh, oh, they got a microphone, they're rapping, they're like freestyling. I saw this, they got like a studio microphone set up over there. See that little group? They've got a studio microphone hanging down and there's some, you know, pretty girls rapping so everyone's joining around. I can't hear what they're doing, they're not doing anything right now, but. Ooh. I'm not sure where to go now. I'm just kind of walking around aimlessly. It's like those YouTube channels that just walk around a city and talk to people. Those are kind of interesting, aren't they? The library, this place is called the library. And so you can tell everyone, hey, weren't you in a bar last night? No, I was at the library. It, it's, it's fun if you're young. It's fun if you're young. If you're old like me, after a while you're like, oh, it's too loud. That guy needs money for weed. Burnside's Tavern, the voodoo room. Oh yeah, it's, it's a heck of a place. This is like Bourbon Street, Austin's version of Bourbon Street. People up on top of that building having a good time. That is some of my favorite pizza, Ropolo's. Yes, I, you know, I haven't been to Beale Street. I've been to Memphis, but not Beale Street. But yeah, it's a little bit like Beale Street or Bourbon Street. Signs of progress in the distance. Always cranes. Pete's Dueling Piano Bar. It's kind of a fun place to go. They have two pianos and they have sing-alongs and everybody has a good time. Here's a cool uh, kind of a toy store, Aaron's Rock and Roll. You live in Houston, Miguel? That's my hometown. Oh, it's like, it's this huge week-long conference of live music and film and interactive and everything. It's crazy. It's, it's just a, a week-long party. Parties everywhere. Free music, live music, giveaways, all kind of stuff. They got gremlins flashing you. They got hamster masks. They got Chucky, E.T. Aaron's Rock and Roll is a cool place. Oh, that's a good tiki mug. Look at that from Beetlejuice. More Chucky. Classic. Dracula. So anyway, is there any place you guys want to go? <laughs> I used to work down there. Not anymore. Um, hmm. Well, what do you think, folks? I'm trying to think where I should go. Where should I take you? I'm gonna go back on this side because it's not as crowded as that side. 
there's families out here too, not just here. There's kids, moms and dads showing their kids around. But mostly it's an adult party, you know. So, you need to act accordingly. You know, Freddy Krueger, you like Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Puro El Paso, Holmes. Yeah, rest in peace, Toys R Us. See how it's just kind of a general cacophony now because you get loud music from every club and it's just like pop, choo, chop, choo, pop. you're hearing like beats from seven different places so that's that's why these 52 year old ears start to be like i can't take anymore so you know what i do i go to my refuge which is the driscoll hotel which is ahead up there the driscoll hotel where i got engaged to my wife spent many a, a, a fun night there in the bar over the years if you're ever in austin go to the driscoll hotel and go to the bar it is fantastic you don't even have to drink if you don't drink you can just hang out it's really cool they're still doing the kind of the recording and rapping and stuff there's a line starting over there for some reason there's a dog you see, the, you know, the best thing about coming down here for South by Southwest is just people watching. So many different types of human beings to look at. <laughs> you should eat now? I know, I know. Is there a good bar in that hotel? Oh yes, absolutely, 100%. I can't, I gotta work, so I can't, uh, can't drink anything right now, but I'll have a drink later on after work. That's Joe Rogan's comedy mothership. Oh, there's some cute little doggies. This is Ropolo's, my favorite. Oh, there's a guy who's been partying a little too hard. A little too hard. I don't want to blow up his spot, so I just do a quick glance over at him. There's a guy on a megaphone trying to get you to come in and ride the bull, the mechanical bull. I'm a voiceover guy, Adam. Two dollar whales. Two dollar whales. <laughs> Somebody gave that guy a megaphone and they shouldn't have. Hey, Padre Mortalis, my lunch is almost over. See you next time, Sinatra. Have fun and be safe. Thank you, Padre. Thank you. You didn't need to do that, but I appreciate it. Thank you very much. What's my favorite drink? Well, it depends on what time of day and uh, what mood I'm in. Coffee, whiskey, margaritas, Coke Zero, Coca-Cola, Big Red, dark beers, some wines, that kind of stuff. You know. Oh, thank you, Adam. So now, back here we are back in at 6 in San Jacinto. I am getting hungry. I don't know if I should, uh, where I should get something to eat. There's another guy rapping over there. Rum goes well, yep, rum goes well with Coke. Rum and Coke, classic. Cuba Libre, as they call it, too. Ooh, that guy was smoking some weed, boy. Wow. I better watch out. I'll get a contact high before I before I go to work. <laughs> no, I won't. Just kidding. What's my favorite dark beer? You know, there's a local brewery called 512 Brewery. I think they may be out of Houston or Blanco. I'm not sure. But they have something called a Pecan Porter, which I love. The 512 Pecan Porter. That's, I think that's my favorite dark beer. I just like anything that... Shiner's good too, but there's something really rich and creamy and good about this pecan porter. It's like black, you know, it's good. Yeah, he found his money for weed. That guy sure did. <laughs> Are there any Starbucks around? No, you know what? They closed. Like, well, actually, there was one back at that hotel uh, where I started out, but not around here. The two that they used to be open on Congress Avenue closed down recently, so very strange. So here's the Driscoll Hotel. Here's my favorite hotel in Austin. That's where I got engaged to my wife on that uh, that uh, balcony. Let me show you. What do you got here? Oh, it's an official venue. Yeah, I, yeah, I've had Yingling before, but I don't remember if I liked it or not. I think I just had it once. We just started having it. So right up there on that balcony is where I proposed to my wife, and she said yes. But you know, she did her little joke when I asked her. I got down on one knee and all the jazz, all that jazz, and she. After I asked her, she took a quarter out and flipped a coin. That's good, I like that. 
So yeah, I won't go into the Driscoll this time because it may cut off my Wi-Fi. I'm not sure. But I absolutely love this hotel. I've spent many, many times here. I've spent the night here one time. But we've done a bunch of gigs with my old band, the Eggmen, back there. And that there's a big ballroom up there. So much fun. I look younger walking around. <laughs> I don't know why. Isn't that funny? Well, maybe I'll show you a little bit. Look, I'll show you the entrance here. Let's go in. There's a cafe. Let's go in. I'm gonna to try to walk you through the bar and out the other side so you can see it. Is this gorgeous or what? If I ever turn into a ghost, I'm gonna haunt this place. Here's Jesse Driscoll. This place is haunted, supposedly, if you believe in that. It's fun to believe in things, you know. That's Jesse Driscoll, the man that created this thing and went bankrupt and lost it. There's a staircase, supposedly haunted by a little girl. That's where I just walked in. I don't know, check it out. Driscoll Hotel. Google it. <laughs> Here's the bar. Here's the bar. I love this. Not many chainsaw maskers in Texas, no. <laughs> just that one or two. Longhorn. Here's the bar itself. I absolutely love this place. I love it. I wish I could have a drink right now, but I gotta go later, so I can't. This is fantastic bar, the Driscoll. And there's the exit. There's little guns for wall sconces. You see that? It's a pistol, an old uh, black powder pistol. It is popping in here. This is the place to be. Is that Larry David right there? Kind of looked like Larry David, didn't it? Oh, I don't like that big TV. That's new. We put a big TV in. I don't like that. Hey, you want to go upstairs into the ballroom? Let's go upstairs. Michael, good to see you, brother. We're going up the stairs of the Driscoll Hotel into the main ballroom area. The Citadel Club, that used to be a private club like in the 20s and 30s. Men's only private club type deal. I mean, this place has been here since the 18, well, since people look like this. this is, these are people at a party at the Driscoll at some point in the past. There's a painting of where I am right now. Straight ahead is a bathroom where I saw Fred Schneider from the B-52s. He was coming out of this bathroom right here as I was going in. Like it was right about here. And then the door opened and Fred Schneider, the B-52s came right out. I was like, whoa, hey, Fred Schneider. Oh, it's locked. Anyway, so here's the main ballroom. We played lots of gigs here. We'd set up a big stage here. Craig, what's up? And I remember one night, this was when I was younger and single, I was like 32, and we played a big gig here. And uh, the stage was set up right here, and they were giving out, it was, I think it was a New Year's Eve deal, and it was being put on by a law office, so they had a ton of money. And uh, so they were giving uh, out free champagne, Verve Clicquot champagne, which is pretty good stuff. And uh, I drank so much of that that night. Oh my God, by the end of the night when we were breaking down all the instruments and all the guests had left, I was laying down on this floor because <laughs> it's nice, cool marble. Oh, boy, I was young. I don't think I had a hangover the next day. Now check this out, the LBJ suite. Lyndon Baines Johnson used to stay in this room when he stayed at this hotel. In fact, he, I'll show you the room. See you timely. Thanks for the company, thanks for hanging out, for all the advice and the email. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate it. Let me know if you ever need anything. So he, um, so LBJ watched the 1964 presidential returns from this room right here, the Jim Hogg suite. Jim Hogg, he was a governor. 
and I don't know if the door's open. No, it's locked, but this is where LBJ watched the res returns for the 1964 election, right inside. There's a little bitty room in here. I've been in here a bunch of times, because it's usually just wide open, but they got it all kind of closed down, but that's where it happened. Let's go out on the uh, porch where I proposed to my wife. You wanna? It should be open. Oh, here, I gotta do this, right? Goofball. Okay, let's see. Let's see if it's unlocked. Should be. Yeah, it's always unlocked. If you come to the Driscoll, this is always unlocked. These outdoor things. America, America. God's Texas, our Texas, all hail the mighty state. Ooh, it smells good up here. It smells good. So we've got 6th Street down below where I was just walking. And this is where I proposed to my wife, right here on this balcony, right, right there. I was standing, I was kneeling right there. So earlier in my life, I was on the floor in there, drunk off fancy champagne. And then later on, I was kneeling and proposing to my wife right here. Life is funny, isn't it? Life is funny. Right, let's see here. Let's see if I can set this up. Ooh, I got a little pillow here. There we go. Look at that. The link I posted for you under other videos, picture of Pedro in that room in front. Really? You heard Frank Sinatra singing? That was probably me. Ooh, Pedro Pascal might be in this hotel. He might come out here in a minute. And you might, he might be sitting next to me. If he does, I'll buy him a drink. And I will have one drink with him. Just one. This is the way. My hair is too... Sticking up too much in the front. I don't know. So this is how I relax, folks. Just chilling out. The Driscoll Hotel, Austin, Texas. So if you're in town, come see me. You know where I am. I'm at the Driscoll Hotel. And uh, out on the porch that faces east, I'm facing east, there's another one that faces south. That's my preferred porch. Like when I, go, when I come here and just want to have a cocktail, I go sit on that porch and I kind of watch. Because there's never anybody out here. I don't know why. I know. I need a glass of whiskey. I know. I know. Cheers, Desperate Dan. But uh, I got to go to work later so I can't have any drinks. And it's not that long. I got to be there in like 6.45, so hour and a half, hour and a half. So. And I'm hungry, so I need to get something to eat before that, too. So this will probably be the, the end of our little journey today. 47 minutes on this one and like 30 minutes on the other one. Yeah, I don't normally smoke cigars, but every now and then, you know, it's just the moment calls for it. But unfortunately, not right now. Um, now, I am thinking of maybe... Uh, since the wife and kids are grandmas right now and I'm alone, I get off tonight at like 10.30 or a little, not, not quite 10.30. So I was thinking maybe I'll go out and have a drink before I go to bed, but maybe not. Oh yeah, I remember that Gerald, Texas uh, uh, F5 hurricane, abs I mean a tornado, absolutely I remember. Do any voiceover acting? That's where I'm going to go to. That's the, my job, one of my jobs. And so yeah, I'll be doing that in a little bit. Thanks for the adventure, Michael. Good to see you. Yeah, I know. It's fun to do these things, and, you know, and since I, you know, cut it down to once a week, which has been great for my mental health because it used to be like Monday, I was like, oh no, oh no, I gotta do one Monday, I gotta do one, and I just did one on Friday, and so this gives me a much more relaxed, you know, and I've been doing it for like, you know, 12 years, right? All right, good night, Finland. So it's been, I hope that it hasn't been, you know, annoying. I know how YouTube channels are. They're like, oh boy, as soon as they start cutting down, that's the end. Well, you know, it's just the way things go sometimes. And I'm not ending it. Don't worry. I'm not ending my YouTube channel. I just didn't want to have to do two a week. I've been doing two, two weeks for like, what, 11 years? That's pretty good. That's a good track record. I've earned it. See you later, everybody. Jusa Peltoniemi. Don't work too hard. I won't, Desperate Dan. Thank you, brother. And my, you notice my ring, my class ring, I've got, I sent it off to the, uh, it's not here, obviously. My wedding ring is, but I sent it off to the company that made the ring and they're resizing it for me because this knuckle just got too big. It, like the bone, you know, with age and probably arthritic, whatever. <laughs> and uh, I just couldn't get it off. It was so painful. It was just metal on bone. It wasn't even like, you know, even when I was overweight, I could, you know, take it on and off pretty easily. And, and, since I've lost the weight, I know it wasn't that. So you know, it was just something with the 
the old the old man hands. All right, look what we got here. Darren Snowden, relaxing, smashing the scotch. Keep laughing. <laughs> yeah, well, I, you know, I don't do uh, any, any family members in my videos, just me. But uh, maybe because there might be a special occasion sometime soon to film with my older son, I might do that. I definitely want to do it with my dad because that people have wanted to, to see my dad. And he is a master of, uh, 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 of small talk, just chatting, you know. He's got the gift of gab. And uh, so he would be a great, uh, great addition to the channel. So we'll do that at some point when we're together. We'll do it, okay? Dad, if you're watching right now. All right, what was that? Steve Walker? I don't know who's Steve Walker. Who's Steve Walker? Is that Walker, Texas Ranger? I don't know. But we're just relaxing. Ugh. I did walk a long way, so I'm kind of like feeling good just, just relaxed on the porch. Hanging out. Let me turn the thingy. You can kind of get a better... Look at the Texas flag over there. Oh, well, just, do that. just leave it the way it is. Leave it the way it is. All right. Benjamin, greetings. Well, you know what, folks? Got an hour and a half before work. I'm starving. The cafe downstairs is good, but it's probably closed. Uh, oh, he, he straight razor channel, but he quit two years ago. Did he like? How long did he go for? Because I've been watching this one YouTube video. Of, like, what happened to this YouTuber? You know, he had the worst reputation ever. You know, like, oh no, and he cut down on instead of doing two every day, he only did one, and then his channel just turned into garbage. So I'm like, oh god, oh, I'm not doing that. But hey, you know, whatever. But no, I'm not quitting anytime soon. And I'm hanging out with y'all. That's what we're doing. We're 36 of you. That's pretty interesting. That's pretty cool. All over the world. All of you, all over the world. And here's little old me sitting down here all by myself on this big old porch. If you're ever in Austin and you're in the Driscoll Hotel, come up to the second story. You can take elevators up and take that stairs up from the bar. And come out to one of these balconies. There's places to sit. You know, there's, there's couches. There's tables. And there's no one ever on these balconies. I don't know why. I think people think they're not allowed, but they are. You can come up here and hang out to your heart's content. You can watch all the stuff happening down on the street and be above it all, you know? <laughs> How about a long hairstyle? I've had that before. Yeah, seven years ago, so we ran for five years. Yeah, there you go. That's a good, that's a good clip, too. I gotta beat them. But, uh, all right. I think that's it. I'm getting really hungry now. <laughs> I gotta find something. I gotta walk all the way... To work which is like five blocks from here or something or more i don't know exactly but i love walking i've walked a bunch today let's see what my steps are up to we started at thirteen thousand. let's see what we got to today let's see what, how far we did just walking down the street ah, it's still thirteen thousand four fifty eight. Six point three miles i've walked today all right everyone Gonna say goodnight. The changing man is gonna say goodnight, but my wife is gonna stay and watch. Well, I'm 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 going too. So good night, changing man. And I can't remember your wife's name. I know I shouted you out uh, recently, but shout out to both of you again. So if you guys will put your name, you know, say goodbye in the chat. I will, you know, shout out your name, and then I'll sign off. And then uh, you know, since I've got all day tomorrow, I've got a gig tomorrow night. I got a, a John Lennon music gig my buddy John and I are gonna do. But I might do another live stream later on. I don't know, you know, as long as I don't have the wife and kids, they're, they're grandmas, I can do this. I can walk around. Anyway, okay, put your name in chat. I will shout you out and then we'll sign off. All right, Anthony, Christopher Garrett, Romance Faith, otherwise known as author. Anthony, Talega One, One-Handed Keyboardist, Robin Barker, Adam Wilson, Doctorus Prime, Darren Snowden, Michael Endress, the Changing Man, Jack Bergen. Say goodnight, Gracie. Goodnight, Gracie. Uncle Rhino. Author, author. Matt Gray. Miguel. Lee Nunez. LL. Cool J. All right, I think that's probably as many people as I'm going to get. All right, everyone. So I will, uh, I'll do another one of these um, sometime soon. Maybe from, I'm going down to, to Houston uh, this weekend to be with the family. And, uh, but I'm working the next couple of days, so that's why I'm here still. I'm working until Friday. So, that's it. We'll do another one soon. Thank you for joining me on this. And uh, I'll see you all very soon.